Jason Rollin, communications director for the Human Rights Campaign, which has spoken out against the religious freedom laws in Arkansas and Indiana, and Sandy Rios, director of governmental affairs for the American Family Association, who supports religious freedom laws. Thank you both for joining us. Thank you, Tamara. Sandy, Thanks, let's start with you. I want to get your reaction to uh, what you heard from Governor Pence yesterday and this clarification of the law you supported, uh, which would greatly change in many ways some of the, I think, the things you were expecting. I think there clarification needs to be happened. <coughs> clarification is needed, Cameron. The problem is that the law has been completely mischaracterized. So the Religious Freedom Restoration Act is a protection for every single person listening to me. It isn't about coming after gays or lesbians. It's not about coming after anyone. It's about, it's what we would call a shield, not a sword. It doesn't cause anybody to do anything. It provides a way where people who have strong religious faith and convictions about certain things can defend themselves in court if they're being forced to do something that goes against their conscience. I think part of the problem is that people don't know the whole story. They're being whipped into a frenzy over things that are not true. And what and part of the story, a big part of the story that they don't know, they probably don't know about a woman named Baronelle Stutzman, 71 years old, a grandmother who owns a floral shop in Oregon, inherited from her mother, who has gay employees, serves gay people all the time, but a gay couple came to her, asked for her to do, give her artistry to their gay wedding, and she said, I, I can't do that. She's, they've been customers of hers for years, but she said, I don't agree with gay marriage, I can't do that. And now, they're trying to take Baronelle's homes, they're coming after her, trying to take her business, and by they, I mean mm. the government in Washington state, because she doesn't have a right as a 72-year-old grandmother to say, you know, I love you, you're my customer, but I don't agree with gay marriage and I just can't give you my artistry. The same thing happened to a young couple in uh, Aaron and Melissa Klein who had a cake shop. And they, Melissa does all these beautiful cakes. She was asked to do a cake for a gay wedding and Melissa said, I can't, in good conscience, I can't do this. So now they've been fined hundreds of thousands of dollars. They have five small children. They've had to give up the business. This is the part of the story that people are not hearing. But, but let me read a statement um, regarding Angie's List that the American Family Association released. Your organization, Angie's yes. List, one of the businesses um, who stood firm against the law in Indiana. This is the statement from your group. Unfortunately, Angie's List has joined with thousands of homosexual activists, including lesbian Ellen DeGeneres, in opposing religious freedom for all people in Indiana. Angie's List implies support for the concept that Christian business owners should be prosecuted by law if they do not violate their deeply and sincerely held religious beliefs by bowing to homosexual activist demands, as is already happening in the states without Religious Freedom and Restoration Act. Angie's List and others have said, including Walmart in Arkansas, they do not want businesses to be able to discriminate whether it is a gay or lesbian couple or whether there's an african-american couple or an interracial couple who comes in and wants to be uh, a customer and a bakery as you mentioned or florist can say no based on my religious beliefs think about what you just said tamron okay does that mean now angie's list is going to have to start posting you know uh, somebody to work for the kkk you know we need a new secretary or we need to advertise our next meeting or this is the way it works this particular act protects everyone including gays and lesbians you are not be you know a gay cake baker could not be forced to you know do a cake for a celebration of the fact that marriage is only between a man and a woman and to make sure they make a cake that expresses that they don't have to do that under this protection this law is a shield not a sword it's being mischaracterized and you know what I'm so then why is the governor changing why is the governor now saying um, a few days after uh, pretty much what he said was a terrible set of interviews on Sunday that he needs a clarification and that Indiana Hoosiers need a clarification here if it's A-OK. Well, I, I think it's no I think it's pretty obvious Tamron that he's been threatened economically Indiana has been doing fabulously it's been one of the most successful states in the union in terms of bringing in economic growth so now all these businesses are threatening him uh, even the you know the uh, NCAA tournament uh, NASCAR I mean so you see here he has all the people's lives in Indiana at his, you know in his hands their future their economic future and uh, he's beginning to feel the heat I think that explains it but that doesn't make it right it's wrong this 
bill is logical. It's reasonable. It protects freedoms for every American. It happens to be Christians right now because they're really taking a hit. And I have to say, of the gay people that I know, not the activists, because they don't care. All they want is their way. They are insatiable. But of gay people that I know who are reasonable, they don't want their 72-year-old grandmothers losing their business and their homes because they don't, they have a conscience about gay marriage. This is wrong. And that's why we need this Jason, bill. Jason, let Everywhere. me give you a respond here. Sure. I mean, I think, you know, I want to address the misperceptions and the, the, the sense from, uh, from Sandy and from Governor Pence that people don't understand the inherent danger and animus driving these types of laws. Okay. Last night, Nike opposed this bill, spoke out forcefully against it. Microsoft spoke out forcefully against it. We've seen Apple CEO Tim Cook speak out forcefully against it. They know what this law is about. This law is about empowering people who wish to refuse service to committed loving gay and lesbian people because of who they are or who they love that's no, wrong that's Jason. why that's why the companies are opposing it that's why the american people are uh, opposing it no they don't they don't know the whole story jason and that's they're pretty smart people you sandy i think they know the whole story no i don't think they're pretty smart at all have you, you seen jay leno you of apple is smart sandy you don't think a ceo of apple uh, you is know smart. what if he were smart why was he doing business with countries where they are actually executing homosexuals does Listen, that concern if, you, Jason? I think That's where Apple's doing business. I so think, now he's he's really upset about Indiana because they're trying to protect people of conscience from not having to do things that breach their conscience. But he's okay with selling Apple computers to, to countries that execute. What about gay the men. NCAA? Is that okay. What, what what about the NCAA? What about the, the NCAA Republican watches in, they watch the media. They watch the the ridiculous ex, uh, exaggeration no. and listen, overstatement listen that, to, that is applied urge, supplied by human rights campaign. But listen Sandy, let me, you, let me let me say here, the, one of the conservative groups that joined forces with yours um, to get the original version of the law passed said that their impression, the intent of this law, and that's a big, um, I think that is an important part of this, the intent, says that Christian Baker's floor and photographers should be should not be forced by the government right. to participate in homosexual weddings. Pastors should not be forced by the government to conduct a Absolutely. homosexual wedding at the church. So they shouldn't. Let me and finish. Not. A pro-life business owner should not be forced by the government to That's rent right. its facilities to a pro-abortion shop. The governor now says the clarification that is needed in Indiana is to clearly state that all are welcome in the businesses to do business in Indiana, that any person who wants to go into a florist, knows it doesn't matter who they love, I believe is how he put it, should be served at that baker, at that florist. That is what the governor seeks to clarify. Is he wrong? Tamron, you know, we don't need to clarify that. I have to say, you know, yes, we do. okay, this gets in the weeds. This law says, unless there's a compelling public interest, uh, you can't force someone to go against their, against their conscience. We had the same thing happen when the, uh, the, the morning after pill was legalized. And uh, there were pharmacists who didn't believe in abortion, and they didn't want to give the pill. So they'd say, here, go to next door. Here's a pharmacy that will give you the pill. But I personally, in good conscience, can't do that. We had this fight over this. And I'm just saying, you know, gay men and women who want to get married can go to another florist. They can go to another cake shop. They continually target people that they know have very strong Christian convictions. This for this is very why, purpose. They will not explain. allow any fences, any fences whatsoever. They want their way no matter what. They want everyone to bow the knee. But would you say that some might wrong. see your view that way, Sandy, that you want it no, your way? No. Let me finish. You want it your way, and you've lost to successful businesses who, for whatever reason, you say threaten, but stand by their convictions, and it appears they've won in Indiana. No, I don't think mm -hmm. that. I think it's a little soon to say that, Cameron. But I would say that businesses, they, listen, businesses don't are not known for their moral compass. Hobby Lobby is an exception. You know, Hobby Lobby has a strong history of strong moral convictions in the way they do business. But that but sounds as if you're saying if they don't agree with you, then um, they want it their way. And, and they're these random activists and media no. who are spinning the story. If, if they don't agree with you and your position, then you've dismissed them from Tim Cook to the Tamara. NCAA to Angie's List. My, that if they my, don't agree with you, Walmart. then shoo them no. away. Is Cameron, that? my my position is that every American has a right to exercise their conscience. I think MSNBC actually has a right 
to refuse commercials round the clock that promote racism and uh, you know discrimination or separation you don't have to take those ads because that would really be a problem wouldn't it wouldn't that bother you if MSNBC ran ads you know they bought the time and they want to say hey uh, whites are superior to blacks or you know we should we should have separate but equal you know you would have a problem with that and you know what you you shouldn't have to do that MSNBC shouldn't have to do that this law is protecting all of us from having to do things that we have a conscience against it is a reasonable law I don't think it needs to be no. amended in Indiana I think we, we've had the protection since 1993. Not only, not only is what people, Sandy is describing, not only is what Sandy describing, not only comparing apples to oranges, it's comparing apples to Volkswagens. At the end of the day, okay. there is no religious freedom crisis in America. The only crisis is the rising wave of anti-LGBT oh, really? legislation, well, which at its Baronel core Stutzman, is being driven she, by activists like you. Yeah, ask the young uh, bakers uh, who lost their business and had five little children to support and have like multiple hundred thousands dollars of fines because they wouldn't do a cake for a gay wedding if there's Why don't no you ask the Republican governor of North Carolina who said yesterday in saying that he was going to be opposing legislation like this there, what crisis is this going to solve? You know what, what I problem don't, I don't is this really going care. to solve? Jason, I don't, I don't take my opinions from what other men or businesses think. I, I just think this is common sense that you and I. I think it isn't common sense. I think the American people agree. To hold to our conscience. No, they don't. They don't even know who Baronel Stutzman is. They don't know who the Bakers are. They don't know the whole story. Okay, Sandy, you thank you so know. much for your time. Yeah, and you're, Jason, you're we're.